customer acquisition calculator create a profitable strategy for your business this is part two of two if you haven't watched the first video you do want to go back through because i list all the strategies there in this video what i'm going to do is actually get into depth into some of those strategies that i think are incredibly helpful so I think this is really going to help you out in your business and growing your business. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. There's a big subscribe button down there. Click it, turn it red to gray. Don't forget to ring the bell, turn on all bell notifications. That way you're notified each and every time I go live or if I upload a video. Okay. Let's get right into it. I want to get into the explanation of all this stuff. Give me a thumbs up too. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it. It helps the algorithm so much. All right. So let's look at some of these things and one of the things i really want to look at was search engine optimization this is something that was so big 10 12 years ago and then it seemed to die out because people figured out ads and now people are scrambling to get their websites to actually show up in the search results you've got to understand that when people are interested in a product or a service or anything like that for the most part they're going to go to google and they're going to search and they're going to look on google and if you can come up in those search results you're going to increase your business that's why it's so very important to educate yourself in search engine optimization okay check out what i'm gonna put on the screen here real quick inbox ranks first for temporary tattoos a term that has over 30,000 monthly searches intentional traffic this generates for its website every single day and if you look at it it's, it's really pretty cool um, you've got semi-permanent tattoos radically different so that's kind of catchy right there right and then their description here this is the meta description this is what you're putting in on your website here to help you express you we create tattoos that last one to two weeks and fade as your skin regenerates painless and easy to apply delivered to your doorstep so it it says it's very easy to use these tattoos it says they're good quality it tells you how long they're going to last it's like a mini ad okay so this doesn't even cost you anything this is just the description that you put in on your website whether it be wordpress magento whatever it is wix whatever you're using out there it's so important to do this now this is so cool if you can master this because getting this passive organic traffic is just invaluable uh, if you think about it there's 40,000 searches every second on Google 40,000 every second that's a lot of searching going on and another thing to remember is that search engine optimization is evergreen once you do it okay it can pay off for you know weeks months years on your website now you may have to go in and tweak things every now and then but there's some websites that have ranked literally for years and they're getting all this free traffic wouldn't you like to do that now the downside to this it's slow it takes a while okay so once you do your search engine optimization it's gonna help your website a little bit more each day as the search engine crawls your site and as it learns the SEO that you've put there now the other thing is even though there's 30,000 um, searches every single month for that temporary tattoo term there's 237 million results that pop up so there is going to be competition when you're doing that there's a lot of tools out there that you can use there's hrefs out there there's uber suggest and these tools can be used to help you figure it out a little bit better now this type of marketing i would say it's marketing um, is good for people who want to do something in the long run it's going to take you some time to get the results however you will get good results in the long term if you do it correctly the other thing i talked about in the first video was audience building uh, and i want to hone in on that a little bit more because i think that's so important i didn't do that in the beginning uh, and i missed out for a number of years on a lot of potential sales because i didn't have a list to market to now i do have a list to market to uh, and i get a lot of sales off it but I, you know i look back and i think my gosh my list could be so much bigger but that's not the point i did start and i did get it going so audience building is so very important and using social media like instagram and facebook and youtube and all these different places can really help you out let's take a look at an example right now Jim shark and I'm gonna put it up on the screen there for you uh, Jim shark right here you can see what they've done they have 2763 posts here uh, you can follow them obviously but they got 3.3 million followers and for Instagram that's pretty darn good they've built a community of brand ambassadors who promote it on the platform there's several ways to build an online audience on social media almost all of them require time consistency and content to attract new followers and keep them engaged your online following 
not only lends your brand authority it also creates an audience of customers you can reach whenever you want to promote a new product or increase your sales so it is very very helpful now although it does take time to do this the organic traffic you get from social media really helps when people see that other people are sharing your brand and what you're doing they're very interested in it it's more believable than just an ad but it's in it's going to take long term to do this okay so you've got that that you got that trade-off if you run an ad you're going to get instant traffic but it's not as believable and it's harder to get people engaged if you have organic traffic it's very believable people are going to engage they're probably going to buy your product but it takes a longer time to do it so there's that trade-off now the other cool thing about organic traffic and it has a lot of social proof other people see other people using your products or services and that lends more credibility to whatever you're marketing now the other thing i will add to this is uh it's slow growth i, I will say it's very slow growth uh, and the other problem is algorithms change. So you could be doing really good on Facebook one day and have a lot of people visiting, you know, your, your pages and engaging with you. And then all of a sudden the algorithm changes and they don't show it to anybody. I've had that happen to us. Um, so it, it kind of, you're not really in control of it, but it's a, it's a great way to actually build an audience, but it can go away real quick too. So you got to be careful about that okay the next thing is content marketing this is something else i mentioned in the other video but i want to get into a little bit more depth here when used properly content marketing can be a great source people are coming to you to get information to learn how to do things whatever it may be uh, let me pull up uh, a company and put it on the screen real quick it's called pressed um, and what they do is they sell you know basically healthy living and educational uh, but their main product is going to be um, juices okay uh, and they have these juices that are available and as you can see from here they've got several different articles in here that people can read the blog has a simple yet eye-catching design uh, it's got hero images that reflect its product posts are full of useful well-researched information and expert interviews that help readers make healthier life choices squeeze also offers resources like a direct line to its in-house nutritionist at the bottom of each article now what what is that going to be used for what is this content marketing going to be used for it's going to be used really for building trust with your customers uh, when they see that you've gone through all this effort when they see that you're giving out all this good information they're going to definitely trust your company more which is going to make them more likely to buy from you now of course the side benefit from this is if you have some opt-ins some call to actions you know you're going to build your audience right there and that's what this is all about is building your audience so it is very helpful in that aspect now the downside to this is it takes time i mean it takes a lot of time you're going to have to involve other people uh, at some point you're not going to be able to do it all yourself uh, you certainly can in the beginning you could write a blog in the beginning but after time goes on and you need to have more and more blogs and more and more content it's going to take some other people to assist you in this the other thing is it needs to be done right uh, if you have poorly written articles it can actually drive people away from your site so you got to be very careful who's working on your site and what contributions they're making okay let me put another example up on the screen so you can see what i'm talking about um, this here is called wood 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 toys it's a canadian based toy store that sells hand-picked Montessori inspired toys customers from around the world buy the wooden toys from the brand founded by a mom and a dad Melanie and Rennie Wood who were looking for toys for their own child the business operates online only which is challenging because some customers want to view the toys in real life but you just can't and we have that too with our survival food company they want to come in and look at the survival foods and we don't have a store um, but once the pandemic hit wood wood toys really took off the brand received more traffic than ever before and sales skyrocketed rennie and melanie still had a full-time job on top of managing their online business um, at the same time their customer base began to dwindle as those customers children began to age out of brands products that's when Woodwood had to focus on customer acquisition once again so this is not a one-and-done thing guys you're always gonna have to be acquiring customers because people will be leaving your list that's just the way it is uh, maybe they've already bought your product or every product you have or maybe they decided they're not interested anymore or maybe they quit you know looking at some of the things that they subscribe to whatever it is you're gonna have to keep building your list because it will dwindle if you don't all right now let's take some time and look at referral tools that you can use um, there's one called referral candy and i want to put that up on the screen now so you can see it 
um, referral candy is a really cool tool uh, it's used for building referral programs for your store over 3,000 Shopify merchandise use it to reach new customers um, they grow their brand through the word of mouth they create fun and engaging customer loyalty programs and it works across any industry fashion um, athleisure nutrition electronics anything that you can imagine referral candy offers tools to automate your referral programs and acquire new customers like post-purchase pop-ups and vip rewards it also connects with your favorite marketing tools like clavio facebook uh, google ads and more you can start with a free trial and then you're going to pay about 49 dollars a month for the service now the one tool i really really like a lot is kartra and i use kartra and the reason i like kartra is because it's really not one software it's a whole bunch of softwares built into one uh, i'm going to have a link below for kartra and that link is not for you to buy it or give up your information or opt-in or any of that stuff all you do is click it and it's going to take you to a page where you can watch a video now if you do like kartra and i'm gonna tell you about it in just one second um, you can actually get it for a one dollar trial through my link that you use down there so check that out but kartra is actually an email platform it's also a sales page builder it's also a funnel builder it's also a membership site it also has pop-ups that you can put on your site whether it be on Kartra or whether it be on your own WordPress site or Magento or whatever it is you can build them in Kartra it is so many things guys you can host videos in there um, you can do so much with Kartra so you got to check it out there is a link below in the description click it and you can watch a video on it okay so that gives you a little bit more in-depth way of building your business um, like i said this is part two of a two-part series so if you haven't watched part one there will be a link below you can click on that go back to part one and watch that where i list all these different things uh, though this video actually got into a whole lot more depth than the first one did but the first one will list everything so it'll kind of spur your interest if you want to get more research on some of these things thanks so much for watching this video i really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button below click it and make it go from red to gray and you do it with a magical click and then this bell is going to pop up next to it you want to ring it turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or i upload a video give me a thumbs up if you don't mind and i will see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel